Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is John or Les Frontier Bricks, and this is my review of the Mega Constructs Halo Capture the Flag Helmet Set. It has the product code 6WY98, comes with a grand total of 59 pieces, including two Spartan minifigures. This came out in the year 2020 and came out at a retail price of $10. Though nowadays, uh, strangely, you, see, you can see these guys going for up to $30, maybe even more. Uh, so this, uh, so these guys are rather similar to the Star Wars Planet series we used to get for Lego. Oh, no, oh, where the, uh, uh, where the, uh, the main display piece, in this case, the Spartan helmet in blue, uh, is both a display piece and the main box. Though you do see that there is some good amount of of uh, car cord around here's what the main set looks like. Let's go ahead and get this thing open. I think this is something uh, where like with a lot of mega sets, you can just cut some tape around and you should be able to open this thing without completely destroying it. Again, I think. Let's let's see. Yeah. Nope. Wrong way. Okay. It's, uh, it's 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 coming. It's coming. Oops. A little bit over here. There we go. There we go. Okay. That's that flap. Come on, it, it, there we go, that's that one. Hmm. It's, it's coming, it's coming. Let's see. If I can just get this loose. Starting thinking. Starting to think that this is one. Oh! Oh, how about that? It's zip tied on there. Didn't know that. Wait. Uh, let's see. It, come on. You know, part of me is like, forget it, just rip it apart. But, here, let's see if I can cut the string. Okay, come on. Eat. No, screw it. I'm just, I'm just gonna pull it. I can't. Whew, I did not make this easy for such a small package. Okay, well, there's that. I think I can get the string. That's all that. Now, whew, I think it's taped on there. Ah, there we go. Okay, so that's most of it. All right, the rest of it should be easy. So, so here's our Spartan helmet. I believe this is a Mark VI. Good looking, eh, uh, good looking helmet. This will make a nice display piece. There are quite a few of these. Um, it's in sets out there, so you can may end up making quite a collection. Let's see if I can get this open. There we go. Okay. Oh, simple enough. Simple little fold-out instructions. And as you can see, they show off itself and a couple more of these helmets. One in green, one in yellow. And I know they've made more of these, so I'll probably try to see if I can collect all of them. So, I'll go ahead and get building. So far, first the two figures, we have a Spartan Mark VII in blue armor. Uh, this is one of the Halo o sets where you do have to put the armor together. Uh, so, uh, it's a, a little bit so it is a little bit more difficult. I do prefer it when the Halo figures are put together, but it's nothing too crazy. 
Um, kind of like this guy here. Nothing too crazy. It actually looks more like Mark VI armor than Mark VII. I think the main difference would be the helmet, although... Honestly, like I said, it's not a whole lot of difference. Uh, you do see that he's got a clip on the back. It's a good figure, though. Oh, and that clip on the back is for his weapon, a shock rifle. One thing I have to admit I was quite surprised with was that in this supposed to be $10 set, this thing actually has a print, has a painted weapon. It's got some brown on the handles. So, so yeah, quite surprising. So, well, so, yeah, there we go. One hand. On the back, let's see if I can get the other hand on the bottom handle. These guys are a bit stiff when you start off uh, when they when they're right out, out of the box, so they do take some uh, to get a bit to get their limbs a bit movable. But as you can see, I actually managed to get both hands on the weapon. So there you go. And for our second figure, we have a Spartan Trailblazer in red. Good, uh, good and, uh, painting on the helmet. Uh, the uh, it's a little bit of spillage for the uh, for the uh, the visor, which is actually in silver instead of the usual gold. But nothing, too, but nothing too crazy. Yeah, good detailing on the armor, and for his weapon, he's got your standard Halo assault rifle with just. As you can see, just the teeniest little attach, a little attachment. This thing is super tiny, but it just slides right on there. So, so yeah, tiniest attachment, but a nice little bit of detail. Oh, that's added on that you don't usually see in the other assault rifles. So yeah, those are your two figures trying to capture the flag. And speaking of which, there is your flag, much like the ODST flag that, uh, that um, from the ODST Have Exterminator set I did a review on a few months ago. Oh, it's a single piece with the U only with the UNSC logo all printed on it. And it has the same flag attachment as that ODST flag with, uh, with the gold skull, with the skull in gold. Plus, you get a teeny little bit of foliage. And a fusion coil. Uh, uh, these are basically your uh, uh, explosive barrels in the Halo universe. Shoot them up, and they go boom. So as you can see, the whole thing is on, on a simple uh, brick uh, brick base plate, and it's attached to the helmet by a two by six plate attached to the bottom. And speaking of, uh, also, you do get an extra flag since it is a capture flag. You also get the, the same. Flag, the same Unicidium flag in red, and I wouldn't be too surprised if, well, let's see if we can do it right, right on video, if you could just fold up the whole set, figures and all, and just put them in the helmet. Okay, I think it's gonna hold. So, let's see can we, if we can just put everything in there. Fusion coil, foliage, flag, that in there, other flag, our two Spartans, and let's, let's see, maybe it needs to go the other way. Oh, come on. Ah, there we go. Okay, yeah, I still got a few bases on there for the flex, for, for the flag post, but yeah, you can totally fit everything back into the helmet. So, so nice. So your helmet not only not only does your helmet make a good display piece, but it's also a nice little carrying case. So yeah, awesome. So for ten bucks, I'd say that's uh, for a ten. If you can get this thing at the retail ten bucks, yeah, I'd say this thing's worth it. Get, uh, get, a, uh, get a couple of figures. There's a little display. Oh, and it's a nice display piece. This is pretty good for a ten dollar set. So, that will do it for my review. Thank you for joining me for it. If you guys enjoyed it, you know what to do. You can check out some more of my content on the end screen in just a few seconds. And I'll see you all in the next video. Later, everybody.